Well, if you've been wondering where your 30 degree temperature beach day has been this summer, particularly in August, it hasn't been there for many. Um, let's talk about why. Basically, Hamilton, you got close, 28.9 in August. Windsor almost got there at 29, but you didn't see 30, among many other cities, including Toronto. So this is your coolest temperature maximums for the month of August. So we are seeing below seasonal temperatures. This is why our jet stream took a dive in eastern Canada, bringing cooler weather and also wetter weather. Meanwhile, like the predominant jet stream pattern throughout the summer, the west was hot and dry. Uh, it also brought a lot of precipitation, as I mentioned, and we don't have to remind you that Nova Scotia was very wet, saw uh, greater than 200% of their normal precipitation for the month of August. Let's go back to Toronto for a second. The last time you did reach 30 degrees was July 28th, and the last time you've had an August without 30 degrees was back in 2008. So if I show you the temperature anomalies for the month of August, cool means, or blue means cool, and the orange means warm. So I don't, you don't have to be a meteorologist, to see that we were running below seasonal. Also, we saw, just like Nova Scotia, Windsor, for example, greater than 200% of their normal precipitation. So that's definitely gonna keep things cooler if you don't have the sun to get through to warm you up. So zero days at 30 degrees for Windsor, Ontario. Normally you'd see about six days. And then this cool stat, Iqaluit Nunavut, is in the fourth place for their coolest yearly maximum high. So the last time they saw any warmth like this, 16.4 degrees, July 15th, and the top spot, so that's number four, the top spot, 1976, when they reached 15.